my name is Hannah. I'm a physical therapist at Kindering Center, and today we're going to be talking about some ideas to work on jumping at home. These are all ideas that I've come up with together with families over the course of our tele-intervention sessions, getting really creative with different games that kids are into. These ones are highly moldable to your games at home, and so you and your therapist can work together to incorporate jumping exercises into your child's favorite games, and then beyond that, Having your therapist on screen can also help your child target correct muscle groups and problem solve when certain strategies aren't working out. But for now, we'll just start with the basics. So we'll start with some beginner strategies from jumping. Normally, when kids are first learning to jump, they have difficulty with one of two problems. Either they're not bending their knees when they're trying to jump, so it looks a little like this, and they can't get off the ground, or they're not jumping with two feet. So sometimes I like to start from a sitting position, which will give them the opportunity for the correct motor pattern. And the most important part for the parent is to be in front of the child while they're working on jumping instead of behind them because that will encourage them to get their nose forward so that they can really get a good lift off. You might put a big pile of couch cushions in the middle of your room as a target and start with them learning to launch and jump and crash into the pillows which gets a lot of energy out, and then eventually they can learn to land on their feet. So I'll show that for you now. Have them sit on a small stool or child's chair. Reach those arms forward, reach that nose forward, and lift off. Crash! Another thing that I like to use is the couch. If your child is allowed to jump on your couch, or maybe they can just hang on to the side of the couch, a lot of kids are very motivated by music. So I usually like to use the song No More Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. It gets lots of repetitions in and if you don't have a trampoline, your couch or your bed or whatever you're comfortable with them jumping on is a great solution. I'll show that now. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. I had both my hands on the back of the couch, if you couldn't see. Having their hands fixed on something like the back of the couch or the arm of the couch will help stabilize their body and activate their abdominal muscles. So that can help them get their knees up to get their feet off the ground. The last thing I'm going to show you for beginners is a game that I did the other day with my patient because he really likes being turned into an airplane. So I'm going to show you with my guest, Mr. Bear. When you're playing the airplane game with your child, you can have their hands here and your feet at their hips. Have them help you launch the airplane. So you're going to use your feet to tell them to bend their knees first. And when you feel them start to stand up, that's when you launch the airplane. Ready, go. Ready, set, go. Crash. Thanks, Mr. Bear. The important part of that one is just giving them enough time while they're on the ground to bend their knees and really start pushing off before they get to jump up. This, for kids who are already starting to jump on the ground, the next step is starting to jump down off of things and start to jump forward. So you'll see behind me, I have a bunch of monster bad guys to defeat. Who doesn't like to defeat monster bad guys? So I'm going to take my stool to the other end. We're going to practice jumping down and then continuing to jump forward to squish each bad guy. And squish, 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 squish. Giving them targets to jump to will give them something concrete to do. And you can even make a little pathway. I'll show you this cool obstacle course at the end. <laughs> okay, you can also have them jump down to do things like squish their feet on bubble wrap and make exciting noises or squish play-doh when they hit the ground. Some people even have garbage bags they've blown up and the kid can hit the garbage bag when they land with their hands, launching a toy off the other side if it's half blown up. Those are some great ways to adjust the activity for home. For our more advanced jumpers who are working on coordination, I'll show you a little jumping obstacle course. 
they can progress to something like um, frog jumps. And I like to start frog jumps with their hands a little bit higher. So I have these buckets behind me where they can jump on each lily pad. Ready? Ribbit! As they get better at that exercise, you can use lower and lower toys to use more and more of their leg muscles coming from a deeper squat. They can also practice jumping up onto the stool instead of down off of the stool, which will give their legs a lot of power. So you can set that up in the form of a whole obstacle course, and you can even turn it into games like hopscotch if they're ready for jumping on one leg. So I'll show you my little obstacle course here, and you can feel free to have fun building one um, at home with whatever you have. Ready? Squish, squish, squish. Big knee bend. Jump up, jump down, jump, jump. Froggy jump, froggy jump, froggy jump, froggy jump. Walk the balance beam. And crash. I hope these have given you some fun ideas for things to try at home. Please feel free to talk to your therapist about a video session where you can create fun things like this in real time. And the therapist can help you progress the things your child has already learned. Go ahead and email us if you have any questions. Thanks and have a good day.